Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today I want to talk about video stabilization. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more Vegas Pro 18 tutorials. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You're like my best friends. So here we have a clip of downtown Calgary on Friday. Let's check it out. You see there's a lot of wobble in this. Now, did you know the easiest way to get rid of uh, a shaky video is to time, time stretch it. I just want to show you something here. So holding the control key down, time stretch it out. You can go up to 400%. Let's bring it out right about here and put it back. Watch what happens. It makes your movements less noticeable. So when combined with image stabilization, your video clip is going to be smooth as butter. It looks, it looks a lot cleaner. Like the motion is clear and like clear and not shaky. But still got some see shakiness in there. So we'll get rid of that. So let's undo this. And let's go to left click, right click, go to Mia Vex. Double click Vegas image stabilization. Now for most basic will be all you need. So let's analyze this using basic. Stabilize it. And I'll see when we're done. Okay, almost done. Let's play this back and see what it looks like. It's done a very good job at stabilizing the video. But say you want to use expert. So if you want to use expert or say professional, you have to reset this. So reset it to clear data. Let's go to professional. Professional. And since this is a handheld video, you always want translation, rotation, and scale. So let's analyze this. And I'll see when it's done. We okay, almost done. And let's play this back. So just done a very, very nice job. And stabilizing the video. And you don't need to go into all these other settings below here. You can go into them if you want. But uh, in my opinion, that's all you need is just the stabilization. And don't have to mess with any settings as far as I've been used to. I've been doing this a lot for the past two weeks. And uh, there's, there's, actually, there's actually a bug that I found in Vegas Pro 18. I'm going to show you this in a second here. But see, you want time stretches out. So clear motion data. Time stretches out. Well, the control key down. Once again, like I said, if you, want to do, if you want to use time stretch, you have to do that before you put image stabilization on the clip. Let's go back and analyze. Now let's go back to basic. Because there's nothing wrong with basic. Stabilize. Let's see when we're done. Almost done. Now let's put it back. Now the images slow down so any wobble or movements are going to be even slower and not visible, really, really visible to the naked eye. But now you're getting a, a super, super smooth video using time stretch. So some, something else I want to show you here. So don't, don't leave yet. There's a bug I found in Vegas Pro 18 using image stabilization. Now once again, like I told you earlier, if you want a time stretcher, you have to time stretcher first and then apply stabilization to your clip. Now I'll show you a clip here. I think it's a couple of days ago, or actually about a week ago. And watch watch what happens here. There's a problem with Vegas Pro. Watch what watch what happens in the video. So it's shaking the video. This is done after image stabilization. Something is a bug in Vegas Pro. I'm not sure if it's gonna be fixed in the next version coming out or not. But you see in the very beginning how it starts wobbling like crazy. That was after image stabilization and after being rendered. So I found a fix. It's not really a fix, it's a workaround. Go back to Vegas, what you would do is save your project, close out to Vegas, and start it back up, then re-render it again. And that seems to solve the problem. It's kind of like Windows, when Windows kind of gets a little honky-wonky 
that you reboot the windows and your system is stable again. Same goes for Vegas. If you run into any problems with Vegas acting up, save your project, close out of Vegas, reopen it, and then proceed with, proceed with your work. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.